Previously we talked about namespaces and how Python uses a namespace to associate data with identifiers. So there is essentially a list of identifiers or names and the objects to which they're associated. And now let's go back and revisit namespaces, but now in the context of lists. Shown on the left here is a statement, an assignment statement, where we have x is equal to the list with two elements, an integer 2 and a string, TWO. On the right is a depiction of the namespace. There is x is an identifier, and it's associated with the container, the list, that has two elements. And those two elements are the integer 2 and the string TWO. But really, anything could be occupying one of the elements of the list. Now let's have a statement where we call the append method. And the argument of the append method is 4 divided by 2. That argument evaluates to the float 2.0. And then the list is extended by one element. So it now has three elements. There is this container with three slots, essentially. And each one of those slots can be associated with any object. So now we have an integer, a string, and a float all bundled together. And x points to that. Now, if we assign x to y, We've mentioned that y becomes an alias or a reference to the same underlying data in memory. So both x and y are pointing to the same container. Now if we have an assignment statement where on the right we are getting two of the elements from the x list, the first and the third elements, we add those together and we assign that to the second element of y. Well, really, we're just dealing with the same list here, whether we call it x or y. So when we add the integer 2 and the float 2.0, the first and the third elements, we get the float 4.0, and we assign that to the second element. Now if we have an assignment where we assign x the integer value 5, then x now points to or is associated with that integer value. But that doesn't erase or destroy that list. y still points to that same list. Now let's consider a more complicated example. Here, a list is assigned to the identifier x list. This list is a container of three objects. The first element of that list is just the string 1. The second element, however, is a list. It has two elements. The first element of that is the integer 2, but the second element is another list of two elements. And that contains the integers 3 and 4. Now the final, the third element of x list is itself a list of three elements. And those three elements are the integers 5, 6, and 7. So there are really four containers that are created in memory, xlist is associated with the outer container, the one that has three elements in it. But those elements can be lists of lists and so on. 